This video shows how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. To solve quadratic equations by factoring, we need to consider the following. Number one, always write the equation in standard form. That is, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Number two, if there is a common factor or greatest common factor among all terms, factor it out first. Number three, if the value of a is equal to one, this is very simple, factor it using the product and sum. If the value of a, the coefficient of x squared is greater than one, use the AC method. And number five, set each factor or product equal to zero or, or simply use the zero product property and then solve. I have a um, video on how to factor um, a trinomial where a equals one and where a is greater than one as well as factoring with a common factor or using the greatest common factor. So please don't forget to remember all these important things before solving quadratic equations by factoring. First thing that we have to do is to check if the given equation is written in standard form. That is right because this is x squared minus 5x, c is 0, and this is equal to 0. Number two, is there a common factor among all ter terms? So this is x squared and this is 5x. So what is the common term between x squared and 5x? You are right, that is 5x. So we will use the greatest common factor rule. So we divide both terms by x. So what is x squared divided by x? So we will write the GCF as one of the factors. So let us divide x squared divided by x is equal to x and 5x divided by x is 5 so equals 0. So the factors of x squared minus 5x is x which is your GCF and the other factor x minus 5. So how do we solve? We need to use the zero product property which is set each factor equal zero so our first factor is zero we don't need to solve because that is all already equal to zero and the other factor is x minus five so let us write it as x minus five equals zero then solve for x we have plus five on both sides cross this out bring down x and 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. So therefore, the solutions or values of x are 0 and 5. So solve x squared minus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Is this equation written in standard form? Yes. Is there any common factor in each term? No. So therefore, which method are we using in solving for x? That is factoring. So in factoring, when a is equal to 1, how do we solve? Now, let us first factor x squared. So what are the product of x squared? So that is x times x. So our next step is to find the product of 6 that gives us a sum of negative 7. So let's find what are the products of 6 that gives us a sum of negative 7. The rule is whatever the sign of the middle term and this is positive, therefore both factors are negative. But let us see. 1 times 6, is that equal to 6? Yes. How about 1 plus 6? Will it give us negative 7? No, so this is not the pair that we are looking for. How about if we multiply negative 1 times negative 6? Is that equal to positive 6? Yes. 
and if we combine negative 1 and negative 6 is that equal to negative 7 you are correct so therefore what are the other two numbers here these are our products of 6 that gives us a sum of negative 7 so this is minus 1 so let's write minus 1 and the other one is minus 6 so this will be minus 6 so the factors of x squared minus 7 x plus 6 is x minus 1 times x minus 6 is equal to 0 now after we factor our next step is to set each factor equal to 0 to solve so the first factor is x minus 1 equals 0 solve for x so we need to add 1 on both sides cross this out bring down x and 0 plus 1 is 1 so the first value of x or the first solution is 1 how about the second factor which is x minus 6 x minus 6 equals 0 add 6 on both sides cross this out so we have x equals 0 plus 6 is 6 so therefore the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 7 x plus 6 equals 0 are 1 and positive 6. let us try 2x squared plus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0. First, is this written in standard form? Yes. Is there a common factor among all terms? So let us check. We have 2, 8, and 6. What is its greatest common factor? That is 2. So let us write the greatest common factor outside and let us divide each term by 2. What is 2x squared divided by 2? That is simply x squared. What is 8x divided by 2? It's 4x. And 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So we factor out the greatest common factor first. And then after that, check what is the coefficient of x squared. a is 1, so therefore we will copy 2 so when a is equal to 1 we will use the product and the sum so let us first factor x squared the factors of x squared are x times x now what are the products of 3 that gives us a sum of 4 this is very very simple and very easy products of 3 1 times 3 and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so therefore the other two numbers in our factors are positive 1 or plus 1 and the other one is positive 3 or plus 3 so we follow the steps standard form we factored out the common factor which is 2 and we factor it using the product and the sum. So our next step is to solve and find for x. So the first factor is 2. Set this equal to 0. 2 equals 0 is not true. So therefore, we will cross that out because that's not part of the solution. The other factor is x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 cross this out x is equal to negative 1 and the other factor is x plus 3 equals 0 minus 3 on both sides cross this out x equals 0 minus 3 is negative 3 therefore what are the solutions of 2x squared plus 8x plus 6 equals 0 we have negative 1 and negative 3. let us try this problem 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0 is this written in standard form check is there a common factor among all terms 3 5 2 there's none 
x and x are only present in our first and second term but not in the third term. Now, I want you to look at a. Can we use the product and the sum? Look at a. a is greater than 1. So when a is greater than 1, we need to use the AC method. Please check on my other video on how to factor trinomial where A is greater than 1. So how do we use AC method? Simply multiply A by C. So what is 3 times negative 2? So that is negative 6. And then the middle term is negative 5. So the question here is, what are the products of negative 6 that gives us a sum of negative 5? So let us try negative 1 times 6. Is this equal to negative 6? Yes, it is. But what is negative 1 plus 6? That is positive 5. So this is not the pair that we are looking for. So let us exchange the sign. So let's make 6 negative. Is 1 times negative 6 equals negative 6? Correct. What is 1 plus negative 6? That is negative 5. So therefore, these are the, the pair that we are looking for. So first, let us make parentheses here. So if you remember um, how to factor trinomials where a is greater than 1 um, on my other video, we will copy the coefficient of x squared on both parentheses and then copy the factors of negative 6 that gives us a sum of negative 5 which is positive 1. So we write positive 1 and negative 6 here. So we write negative 6 and we need to factor out the greatest common factor in each factor. 3x plus 1, no other um, factor or no common factor, so we will just copy it. How about 3x and 6? So we can still simplify it by dividing both of them by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, so that will be 1x. Then negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2 equals 0. So these are the factors of 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0 using the AC method. Now, we already factored, so the next is use zero product property by setting each factor equal to 0. So let's find the value of x. So this will be 3x plus 1 equals 0. Then, how do you find for x? So the first thing that we have to do is to subtract 1 on both sides. Cross this out. Bring down 3x equals what is 0 minus 1? It's negative 1. So to find x, divide both sides by 3. Cross this out. So what is the first value of x? That is negative one thirds. How about the other value of x? So the other factor is x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 on both sides. Cross this out. So we have x. 0 plus 2 is 2. So the solutions for 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0 are negative one thirds and 2. For this example, let us check if the given equation is written in standard form. Is this equation written in standard form? No. So we have to set this equation equal 0. So we need to add 8x on 8x squared on both sides. So 2x plus 8x squared, we cannot combine because they are different terms. So we will just write them together so 8x squared the sine of 2x is positive 2x and bring down negative 1 equals this is equal to 0 so this is already in standard form so after you write this in standard form check if 
there is a common factor in each term. So there is none because this is 8, 2, and 1. Now, look at A. Is A equals 1? No. So our A is greater than 1. So which method are we using? The AC method. So let us multiply 8 times negative 1. And that is negative 8. What is our middle term? The middle term is 2. So what are the products of negative 8 that gives us a sum of 2? So let us see. We have 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. Is 2 plus negative 4 equals positive 2? That is negative 2, so this is not the pair that we are looking for. So let us change the sign. So this will be negative and this is 4. Is negative 2 times 4 equals negative 8? Yes. Is negative 2 plus 4 equals positive 2? Correct. So therefore, negative 2 and 4 are the pair that we are looking for. So how do we factor a trinomial where a is greater than 1? So let's write parenthesis here. So our first factor will be the coefficient of x squared on both, remember, on both parentheses. And we will copy the product or products of negative 8 that gives us a sum of 2. We have minus 2 and plus 4. And if you want to solve 8x minus 2, and 8x plus 4, that is fine. But the rule is, let us simplify. Factor out, common term, the GCF of 8 and 2 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so this will be 4x. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 times. 8 and 4 are both divisible by 4, so 8x divided by 4 is 2x. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, equals 0. So if you want to check if the answer is correct, so this is 4x times 2x, 8x squared, negative 4, a positive 4 minus 2 is 2x, and that's negative 1. And then, once you've factored it out, we can now solve and find for the value of x. How? Again, set each factor equals 0, add 1 on both sides, cross this out, bring down 4x equals 1. And then divide both sides by 4, so this will be x is equal to 1 fourth. How about the other factor? We have 2x plus 1 equals 0, minus 1 on both sides, Cross this out, bring down 2x equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. And we have x equals negative 1 half. So therefore, what are the solutions? 1 fourth and negative 1 half. Um, if you want, you can check my other videos on how to factor trinomials using greatest common factor, where a is greater than 1, and where a is equal to 1. That will help in solving quadratic equations by factoring.